mighty local Power Rangers in the series. I need y'all to make some noise for the Power Rangers. And here's the thing, we're about to have an amazing time. You guys are fans, I am no different than you. I am up here as an eight-year-old boy right now. And we're about to have a great time. We're about to bring these people out. First and foremost, she's already on the stage. Give it up for Royce, aka Miss Applebee. I'm sorry, 
I was late. I, I, my mom called. <laughs> this is not helping the case that the Black Ranger is late. By the way. <laughs> How you know what's your name? What's your question? Uh, my name is Sheena. I actually had a chance of asking Walter Jones this question at Sac um, SACCOM not too long ago, but I wanted to know with all of this huge stuff going on with Power Rangers, how do you get to honor Trini's daughter with us? <laughs> and I apologize. I, I, I see you also. I, I, I didn't mean for it to become so No, that's, that's okay. Um, I think really, Tweet, who played Trini, is honored every day that we remember her and, and love her. And I think that's done not just through us, but through each of you. Hey, what's up, buddy? Say your name, where you from? What's your question? Hey, my name is Rui. I'm from Seattle, Washington. Seattle! Alright, so my question is, uh, if you have a chance to be a, um, let's say, a musical, <laughs> what, what kind of song would you sing? Who are you Yeah, who's that one? Anyone who feel like answering the question. Smart. If Power Rangers was a musical? If it was a go, yeah. What song would you say? Well, the, the theme is Go, Go, Power Rangers. It's like, you know, kind of rock and metal. And that's how she bust in a Pink Ranger costume. So, how did you feel when she challenged her? Well, I, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure most of you do, though, I did ch challenge Amy Jo Johnson to put her Pink Ranger outfit back on, uh, which she did in downtown Toronto. And so, how did I feel when she did that? And when, when she challenged back Oh, when she challenged me? Yeah. Oh, I was not happy. <laughs> uh, because it happened like in the night. You guys are like three hours ahead of us, whatever. And so she did it, and I didn't really pay attention to my social media. And I woke up early in the morning, like at 6 a.m., and I rolled over, and all these people were like saying stuff to me. I was like, what is going on? And, uh, and then I saw the video that she made, and uh, not happy. <laughs> I will say, I did have a, thanks to all of you that did come down to Hollywood Boulevard, if some of you are here, uh, we did have a great time, and it actually was fun, uh, but I don't think I'll be doing it anytime soon. <laughs> and you look sexy in the blue suit, too, right? Like, 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 Super, super smart, 
I'm not. <laughs> I always had these big words, and so I'd have to break out the dictionary and figure out what I was talking about. So I learned a lot from Billy, and uh, it was just a, a really unique and exciting experience to play a character who did get to involve. So as you said, yes, he wasn't that great in the beginning in terms of fighting, but he had his brain always. And so he, he was always helping the Rangers out of trouble through thinking first. And over time, he developed his physicalness. And so, uh, you know, it's such a cool thing to watch a character arc like that. And he became an amazing young man, and he got to go off into outer space. I mean, how many people get to do that? So, uh, it was awesome. So there's nothing I would ever change about the character. All right, thanks, guys. I've got a question for Hey, I have a question. You are Zordon, literally. There will never be another Zordon. You are Zordon. Okay. How was it? Taking on the mantle of Zordon, you came off like a super huge father figure, and most of us, and believe me, Zordon, I'm a grown man, I still look at you like a damn figure. So how do you feel taking that on? You guys can see the resemblance, right? It's the hair. It's really kind of interesting because the character was filmed only one time, and so I was just going into voices after that. So to know that. The image, the, the footage that we shot of the character uh, was uh, used in such a way. The reality is, is, you guys have been waiting more than 20 years for another Mighty Morphin movie, and so you're going to get it. So I, I'm super excited for you. I'm super excited about the people that they've cast. I love that Brian Cranston is a part of it. He was a part of the original, yeah, and he was a part of the original series. And, and the Rangers are awesome. I mean, they picked some really great actors. And I, you know, we don't get into the details. Like, you guys are all like, super excited and you, you want this movie and, and we're, we're all going to sneak in the theater and, and, and watch it on the day too. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, but I will say we should have been in it. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's pretty neat to be a part of something like all of us here that is so special to so many that 20 years later, 25 years later, it's being recreated. And uh, to watch another guy literally be Jason, that's something that I, I'm completely open-minded to and kind of proud of. Because I was a part of creating a character like these ladies and gentlemen that isn't going to die anytime soon. In fact, it's going to be recreated again. And uh, that's something that, that makes me feel pretty good. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what these new actors bring to their characters, and uh, how you guys like it. Johnny and Young Pop, a lot of you you can come back many times to, uh, to reprise the roles out. Uh, how is your relationship with Savannah? How did you continue to get the call and just come back? Were you like, hey, I'm gonna hear it, let me come back. My relationship with Savan? Yeah, I guess I'm asking two questions. My bad. Um, we don't need the dirty details. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, Well, actually, both times that I came back was because Koichi Sakamoto uh, asked, you know, and requested, I don't know what he, his relationship with Savan was. <laughs> but he had some pool. Um, uh, but I've only met Savan like uh, face to face twice. Uh, once when he put the contract in front of me, and was like, you were going to make me millions. <laughs> he said, uh, he's like, you don't make some money. And then he's like, are you okay with that? And I was like, the yes, house was working in some way before this, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so I mean, it really wasn't, I mean, I'm sure that it got approved, maybe, by him. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Harvey, make noise. Baby. I'm 
Logan. Jason. Having flashbacks.
other careers. I became a medic, became a firefighter. Um, I trained for arts. You guys are going to meet these guys. You guys are going to get your merchandise and have a conversation with them. You're 